Things you should know getting into IT. Part two, check it out. Hey, welcome to PC Simplest, and today I have a special guest, Chris Davis from PC Addicts. Hello. All right, so today we are talking things you should know before getting into IT, and we're getting somebody else's perspective on the matter. We already have one video, a link to that somewhere, but we are gonna get Chris's perspective on the matter on what he thinks you should know before you get into IT. So why don't you tell all these awesome people what you think they should know. They are before awesome, getting into IT. Yeah, they are. totally. Before getting into IT, uh, that's a tough question because there's so many variables. There's, you know, where are you at right now? What's your goals? You know, so like, I don't remember, I know you did a video recently and I watched it back then, but I forgot what you said, but at that's this point. Same. So it depends on where you're at and, and where you're going. So everybody has a different background. Zach's background is a little bit different than mine. But actually, we're kind of similar. It's weird compared to yeah, compared to Very a similar. lot of people that we work with now and uh, or have worked with recently in the past. Well, actually, the the main people we work with now, we all kind of have a very <laughs> very similar background. That's a that's a very true statement. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Should we mention that? You know what? Why not? Let's be honest. Yeah. So I don't have a degree, and this guy doesn't have a degree, and he's a system administrator at the job that we work at, and our other system administrator, he doesn't have a degree either, but we seem to... Uh, it's working. It's working very well. We, we, we kick ass and take names, for and then, sure. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't suggest you get a degree, but by all means, I tried. I mean, I didn't try as hard as I should have. I yeah. went and I took, yeah, a, yeah, I took a college course at night from the computer. I lasted one semester. I couldn't do it anymore. It's just not for me. That's my story, too. Right, see? One semester, I was like, I can't. I tried though because I thought it would help and it probably will help. I just, it didn't work out for my path. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but see, so he's been in IT for a long time. So he has I years have. of experience, much like I do. So, uh, experience and education are definitely two things that are going to be, uh, I would say, tied in some ways. Yeah. yeah. If you have both, obviously you're going to go yeah. places. But if getting it, into IT. But, so if you have both, yes. Okay, so my main thing always is enjoy what you do, right? Okay, I've always enjoyed being on computers. I don't have a degree, but I had five monitors set up at one time. You can check out the channel at some point, and he'll link to it later or whatever. But I had, I had multiple screens going. I was streaming live. I'm actually streaming live now. I can't show you the computer, but we're streaming this live with a camera back here. Ah, you can see, you can see the camera. Look at that. See that. But um, I was very passionate about it, and, and passion is a word that I use a lot. If somebody's asking me uh, for advice on how to get into the industry or to, uh, you know, go up, go up the next level. And I always considered myself to have a big passion for it. I know Zach does too. I mean, and when I talk about passion, I mean, what do you do at night when you're at home or early in the morning? I'm a, I'm a morning person. I think he's a night person. I get up early. You're a night person. I See? stay up till like midnight. He gets up at like three in the morning. I do. Uh, I was up at 2 o'clock the other morning recording a couple of videos here for YouTube. But a passion me, to me means I get up early, nobody else is up, I'm by myself, and I'm doing what I enjoy doing. And that's something on the computer, whether that's trying to help others, like Zach's doing here on this channel. We're trying to, or he's trying to educate people on how to get started in this industry, how to, you know, do some, some basic tips and tricks and everything. But So Chris focuses more on system administration Type videos, so check that out. I, I do. just want to mention that. I do. You guys should check that out anyway. And um, sorry, I'm trying to get back. That's all right. I'm trying to get back into the whole YouTube thing as well. I mean, um, I'm still putting videos out, but not as as often as I was. But <laughs> I know I'm a big slacker. But what to know before you get into IT? I think it's just know what know that that's what you want to do. Because if it's not what you really want to do, don't waste your time. I mean. True story. I don't waste your time. Go go waste your time doing something you really want to do, and it's not really wasting your time. But um, if you do want to get into this and you do have a passion for it, I, the biggest thing I can say the, is to maybe I can cut there. Oh, but yeah. okay. <laughs> because like so when you talk, you're talking about passion, oh, but yes. like the thing is like you're you always have to be ready to learn. Right, right. So. He he made a note, and we're not going to cut this out because it is what it is. Let's just go live with this, right? Um, we're going live with it there. So and we're, and we're, we're double live. We're right. live here. We're live, live there. Live, live. <laughs> All right. But he, he mentions learning. Always learning. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Not only because technology 
it's so fast moving or whatever. It never ends. It never ends. It's, it's, it's never ending. Right. But, but because you always have to better yourself. I mean, <laughs> I thought I knew a lot about Linux back five, four or five years ago. No, 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 no. I, I met some people online that would, they, they laughed at me if I said I knew Linux, right? And that's fine. But always try to keep learning. Keep learning, learning, learning. All the new stuff that comes out, even the old stuff. Learn how the foundational part of things work. Um, you know, you'll hear about A plus and N plus certifications. I have my A plus and N plus. I got those on my own. I didn't go to school for it. I studied and I took the test years back in '99, I think it was. Oh my um, gosh! This do guy's I? Old. <laughs> if people ask me, do, does that does that help? It may help for some jobs. I don't know. You know, it depends on who's interviewing you, on what they're looking for. Um, some jobs require it. Some jobs require something. If you don't have a degree. Maybe they're looking for some sort of certificate to justify to HR why they should pay the money to hire you. You That's know, true. so uh, you know, we're not saying don't go to school. If that's what you want to do, it's definitely going to help. It'll help somehow, right? But what I found over the course of I don't know five years, I've been putting videos out six years. I don't even know how long, but is I have a lot of people comment and message me things like, "Hey, we love your channel. Our instructor." Our, um, what is what is the other word? Professor. For professor. Actually, yeah, I've had people comment about that, saying they give out my YouTube channel for real world type experience because it's one thing to go in there, get in a book, and you have to study for the test that has the exact answer and the exact questions, and you know what I mean. It's one thing to do that, and that's very good knowledge. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know everything. I'm not a, I'm more of a jack of all trades. I'm not an expert in WDS. Or He's a jack. I'm a zack of all trades. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? You like that? I always set up virtual environments. Virtual, virtual, virtual machines, virtual mm -hmm. servers. I had servers running down there. running. I had a domain controller in my basement with um, uh, running, I don't remember what it was at the time. I have videos on it, but uh, I had domain controller set up, and then I had a second domain controller, and I purposely broke or took that first domain controller out and tried to replace it with another one because that's real life. That happened to me at my first tech job, which was I was a server admin at a college, and a, server, a domain controller went down, and all hell broke loose, I'm telling you. But purposely break stuff. Set up an environment, and... Yeah, setting up a virtual environment lets you break something without actually breaking something. Right, right. Set it up. Try to break it. Mess with it. Look at YouTube. I mean, there's so many good tutorials out there on YouTube for everything. Anything you can imagine. I mean, how did... How to, I don't know, how to, how to drink a glass out of a glass, I'm sure is out there. But you know what I mean? Like, you think that's, yeah, you think that's, that's small, but like some people... I'm going to have to link to that video. <laughs> There's got to be one out there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a challenge. Can find a video on how to drink out of a glass. I'm done. But I guess what I'm saying is, it always, to me, it always comes back to having a passion for it. And some people may make fun of that or say that that's not the case. But to me, if, if you have a passion for something, no matter what it is... So what about uh, basic application or um, what, the tech side? Well, you know, what, what are a few, just give me a few basic things. Let's say like three things that somebody should really study or be aware of. Operating systems. If you're gonna be in the, if, if you're gonna be in the IT department, or you know, if you wanna be a tech or some sort of support, know your way around Windows. I mean, I mean really, just the operating system alone. Know the shortcuts. Know how to run from the command line or from now the start menu. You know, you hit start and then you type your, your thing. Learn how to run commands real quick and easy. Know how to get around. Don't don't open the command prompt by going to start. All programs, accessories. <laughs> when you're support and you're remoted into someone's computer and you're you're trying to help them with their software, whatever whether it's Word or some proprietary software, whatever it is know how to get around that operating system. I mean, like, that would be my number one thing. Because, and that goes with XP, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or whatever the hell is out there now, and 10. Know your system. I don't even know. I'm embarrassed to say, because I'm a big Windows guy. Or I, I, I mean, you know, I am what? at work now. Huh? But Windows 10. This MacBook doesn't say that you're a big I, Windows guy. I know, guy. I have a MacBook Pro here. I got a MacBook got Air over there. I got another MacBook over there. Uh, oh, Windows? Yeah, Windows. But I use it for work, because... In an enterprise environment, Windows is, you're going to see that like 98% of the time, no matter where you're at. And know your way around it. XP 7, 8.1, I got to learn 10 because that's coming up. I mean, I got I just got to learn it. I don't, I'm not comfortable with it. And that's weird for me to say because I'm in an 
I mean, yeah, we got a couple of years on that though, for sure. But software-wise, operating system and basic stuff like Word, it's, it seems boring or whatever, but no Word and Excel and all this stuff because when you go into an interview and they're asking you, do you know this? You know, they may sit you in front of a computer and say, hey, that is true. show me how to do this. And it, it'll surprise you and you'll be in there like, oh crap, I, and you're, you're brain farting all the time because you don't remember and you're nervous. Just know it, know it like the back of your hand. Yeah, I remember one time I got interviewed for a place and they, and I got the job, mm -hmm. and the reason why I got the job is the way that I answered this question. And they told me this after the fact, so I was like, you know, I I'm a very curious person, so I always ask, like, oh, what, you know, what made you, what made you guys decide that I was the right person? And this is really random, but they gave me this scenario, like, if a user comes to you and they can't connect to the internet, you know, what's the first thing that you're gonna do? So the first thing that I would check, or the, actually the first question that I asked was, well, is it a desktop or a laptop? And they said it's a laptop. And I said, all right, well, the first thing that I would do, what's the first thing you would do? Let me ask you first. I would see, well, it really depends. And they threw me off because I'm looking at the thing and I'm yeah. thinking about something else. I didn't think you were good. Okay, so if it's a, it, they can't connect to the internet and it's a laptop, yep. I, they, if they have a on and off switch for the wireless thing, that, make see, sure that that's right there. That's, the, that's That was my answer, is I would check the wireless switch. But I was hesitant on that answer. You know why? Why? Because... Every laptop is different, and you don't know where that switch is. We have laptops at work that have a physical switch on the, on the, on the side, that have a switch with a function key, or that has a button on the top. So, like, I just thought, like, oh, man. But how, how obvious was that answer? Like, that's a very obvious answer. That's true. And they told me that they had, and that this was a big job, they had, like, interviewed 50 people, and nobody, not one person, gave them that answer. Really? They all went with some convoluted way of what ping they would do. Ping this or ping that. Yeah, it's yeah. just like... It, sometimes it's never the most complicated thing. It's going to be right. something simple. Right. But knowing something as simple right. as checking a wireless switch, yeah. that I mean, that's something that and you should know. Ninety percent of the time, it's it's a simple fix. It really is. So like, always think of the simple stuff first, and don't be embarrassed to answer those kind of questions like that. Just try it, but be ready to answer what might be Plan B, and they because they may come back and say, "Hey, it's all right, it's working." Yep. Okay. Then now what? what? Yeah. Yeah. Then so. What? That's that's definitely good, good some good points I yeah. guess. I guess my question to you is, did we answer the the questions that you wanted to answer that that you wanted answered on this video? Because it's getting long. So I guess my answer to you would be, it's probably a part one. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> I, I think uh, we could probably do this more. All right. As long as you often. don't think I ramble too much and be ah, honest. No, it's I, fine. I mean, I ramble. We've got one video out Let's of the way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, I think I just wanted him to kind of say, like, this is from his perspective what you should know getting into IT. And you've probably seen my videos before. If you haven't, you know, go check them out or whatever. But uh, this was another person who's been in IT for, I don't know, how long? 20, I, I, almost it, it 20 years? I don't know, a long no, time. No, actually, you don't know. Yeah, I, I don't old. think about He's that. old. I'm an old guy. He's old. <laughs> But I can still do the 15 running man. Years? I don't know. You do the running man? You can do the running man. No, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll oh, do it in the next video though. Alright. I'll surprise you. I'll do, I'll do the running, running man. I'll do it right challenge. out of the blue. I'll be like, Alright. Yeah, right. He's gonna do it. Alright. So yeah, uh, that's just another perspective that you can see that uh, he actually and, had and, a lot of common things. And really uh, don't take it the wrong way don't take it the way like my way is the right way or his way the way is the right way. It's what worked for me. It's what worked for him, you know. It may be completely different for you and, and your environment, wherever you're at. Yeah, check out other people on YouTube who have similar videos to this, and you may get a completely different perspective on that. And that's well. okay, too. So, Those might be right, too. You yeah, know? I mean, that might be what you, suits you. You pick and choose. That's the beauty of YouTube and, and out here on the Internet. You pick and choose what works for you. Absolutely. So that's our video. Check out PC Addicts uh, for his system administrator videos and all his other cool videos. He puts a lot out there. I thank you for uh, hey, being man. part of this video. Let's do part two. I'm ready. We'll do part two. All right. Part two. Coming up. Soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.